Hello, and welcome to another episode of Hill Climb Diaries, which is all about what we like to get up to during the UK hill climb season. Go on, Joe! This week, we're doing something pretty different as we've got the current men's UK national hill climb champion, Andrew Feather, into the University of Bath Sports Lab to see how fast he really is. Yes, Andrew, who's been travelling up and down the country for the past couple of years, taking many, many course records and wins along the way, eventually taking the national champion title last year. And after seeing some of his power numbers while racing, we're talking eight watts per kilo for five minutes, which is nigh on world class. We thought Andrew could have a really high VO2 max, which is your maximal oxygen consumption. And that's a really good indicator of aerobic potential. So we headed to see good friend of the show, Jonathan Robinson at the University of Bath's sports testing facilities to see how good Andrew was, giving him a skinful test, a lactate threshold test, and that all important VO2 max test. But before we find out how Andrew got on, it's worth mentioning that he isn't a pro. He's got a full-time job as a solicitor and a newborn baby. So basically, he's just an ordinary guy living in the real world. And when you find out about his results, that should make them all the more remarkable. So sit back, relax, and enjoy many minutes of beautiful gurning, burning, and gear churning. <laughs> so Andrew, we're here at the University of Bath. You're gonna do a VO2 max test. Let's get some excuses out of the way first. You had a baby last week, didn't you? Yeah, on Saturday evening, yeah, so that was, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been fantastic, but obviously, yeah, um, training has been uh, lacking the last few days, but. <laughs> yeah, and it was before a hill climb as well, wasn't it? It was before, before a hill climb, I was due to go out to do the struggle in the Lake District. That evening we went out, um, wife went into labour and uh, had to find a hospital pretty quick, and uh, yeah, the little girl came on Saturday evening. And you've been having a pretty good hill climb season so far. A few wins, a few course records, some good numbers. Yeah, yeah, I've had, I've done five so far. Course records on four and um, one second place. And yeah, today, especially me, I'm very keen to find out how good someone at the absolute top of the kind of hill climbing tree is. And he's gonna be Sounds suffering good. some in a minute. Go on, go on. Really well, really good. So we're here with Jonathan Robinson, who's gonna be doing the testing today. Can you tell us a bit more about the kind of testing procedure? Yeah, so we're going to do a range of things. Um, we're going to look at body fat via um, skin fold measurements, and then we'll do height and weight as well. Let's see if you've grown. Let's see if we've grown. 175. 175 centimetres. And then. What do you think your weight will be? I think it'll be 63. Jump onto that for me, please. 62.9. Woo! 62.9. You're enjoying the uh, attention. You're enjoying the attention there, lots of, lots of cameras. Andrew's been pinched and prodded a bit, so now Jonathan's going to put his numbers into a computer and we're going to find out his body fat percentage. Jonathan just told me 5.8% body fat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's all those cakes in the, uh, in the hospital, yeah. <laughs> Which is, is quite interesting because Andrew sent me a photo of a McDonald's he had the night before a hill climb last week. <laughs> then we'll get some resting blood samples, including haemoglobin and hematocrit. And then we're going to do the main test is the VO2 max and lactate transition test, which we'll do on the bike here. Good, good, keep pushing on through. And that's an aerobic fitness test. So we're going to look at how much oxygen Andrew can use when he's working as hard as he possibly can. And that's his VO2 max. So yeah, I guess we're trying to find out how good someone like Andrew, a national hill climb champion is. We better start testing. <laughs> so we're on to warm up time now. How's the bike feel? The bike is feeling uh, pretty different. Feels nice and comfortable, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have washed it since you wore it. Ah, yeah. Disappointing. <laughs> you feeling ready then? Feeling as ready as I can be. <laughs> Pumped. <laughs> for, for Thursday morning. Yeah, nice, nice, nice start to your Thursday morning. Exactly, yeah. While Jonathan takes Andrew's blood, just so we're clear on what he's going to do on the bike, Andrew's going to start at around 200 watts, that's fairly easy for him. And every three minutes it's going to go up by 25 watts so it's going to get harder and harder every three minutes and andrew's going to go until he basically can't go any longer and at that point he's hit his vo2 max which hopefully will be quite high 
So the test has started. Andrew started out at 200 watts. He's got one minute and 30 seconds until it goes up to 225. 200 watts feel pretty easy? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Feels like, well, if I was on my ordinary road bike, I would estimate that I'm doing 300 watts, so maybe yeah. it's just the indoor bike. So in about 10 seconds, it's gonna jump up to 225. Andrew's just having his first blood reading done. Here's Andrew's first lactate reading. As you can see, at 200 watts, it's only gone up a tiny bit, which means it should feel nice and easy for the time being. So you're now at 250 watts, still feeling fairly easy. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Keeping, just keep an eye on my cadence. Yeah. We're up to 300 watts now, and Andrew's heart rate is at about 165 BPM. For most people, 300 watts is like kind of almost their max effort or their threshold. 300 watts for me, I'm going to be at like 184 BPM easy. Interestingly, his lactate has hardly gone up at all and he's still at 300 watts. That is pretty crazy. Looking good, mate. Keep digging. Looking strong. Just jumped up to 325. Heart rate is still in the 160s. Still looking good. And he's got two minutes and 45 seconds left on 325 before it jumps up to 350. Get some good numbers coming out, you've got to keep going. Andrew's up to 350 watts now. His heart rate's at 179 BPM. He thinks his max is around 190, so we've got a little way to go. To 375 now. It's a pretty high power. His heart rate is at about 185. It's got two minutes to go and then it's going to jump up to 400. <laughs> For most people it'd be an absolute agony and still think you've got a bit left to go. Go on mate, keep digging. Clarity now, you've just got to keep holding on. A few more ramps. Looking good mate, keep digging. Looking strong. It's going to jump up in 30 seconds. Go on, just focus on holding that power now. Heart rate's up to 190. It's going to be really hurting now. It's up to you now though, really good. Good. Just as long as you can, just stop if you want now, just as long as you can. Looking really good, really high numbers, go on. Go on, let's see if we can get to the end of this ramp. Come on, come on. Good, 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 good. Head off if you can. Great. That's so much harder to bike. Yeah, just like so grinding to end the pedals. Were you suffering at the end there? Not having any hoods as well to get forward, get the weight through the pedals as hard because I tried to get down here. But yeah, you just pedal. So that felt quite a lot different to riding on the road then? Yeah, really different, a lot harder. So at the end I was at 400 watts and I was actually at my limit, whereas 400 watts I can ride relatively easy on the road. But yeah, it's really interesting, really really interesting to do it and see uh we'll see we'll see what your numbers are in a minute probably not very good i don't know i don't know so andrew's finished the test jonathan's got the results let's find out now we've got andrew's lactate score so where is his lactate threshold can you tell from the paperwork eyeballing it to start off with we look at two kind of thresh thresholds so one which is kind of the all day sort of pace, okay. but that's around kind of 160 beats per minute heart rate. Right. So around 275 is your all day pace, which is pretty okay. high. And that 350, where the second one, is kind of, you know, an hour-ish. Yeah. That sort of yeah. time trial type pace. Yeah. At the end of the test, you were breathing in and out 184 litres of air going in and out of the lungs. So just to be clear, that's 184 litres of air a minute, whereas usually you'd be doing 10. 10. Right. So your V2 max in kind of absolute terms, as we say, is 4.95 litres per minute. And people will say, is that a good score or a bad score? So it's quite difficult because obviously people are different sizes and shapes. So what we do to make it comparative or relative is we divide it by your body weight. So divided by your body weight comes out as 78.7 .7 millilitres per kilogram per minute. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. 
That's really good. Is, that, is that one of the highest you've ever yeah. tested? One of the highest, probably on the bike, yeah. 78 is really quite high. <laughs> <coughs> really quite high. Yeah. Go on, see if you can get to the end of this round. So we're all finished and Andrew's final score was 78.7, which I think is one of the highest Jonathan Robinson, the tester, has ever tested. How do you feel about the day? Yeah, it was good. It was, it was really interesting to see the results. Um, I'd never done anything like that before. Um, and it was a real grind at the end. And it was quite, in a way, disheartening because you can see the power on the screen and it's probably slightly lower to what you can do outside. But I just think that's perhaps maybe the, the indoor bike. One of the interesting parts about the test is that you found out where your lactic threshold was, which was at 350 watts. So you think now you know that, that's your kind of hour power. Will that affect how you ride a kind of longer hill climb in the future? Definitely, I think, yeah. I think, you know, definitely on the, on the longer efforts. So for example, anyone going out to the Alps or the Pyrenees where they're doing the long climbs, I think to know where that lactic um, turning point is, is, is really handy to know. Um, on the typically short climbs that we do here in the UK, um, Probably, probably less so, but still really interesting to see the results and, uh, and the data today. And finally, being a hill climber, you always want a bit more, you always want to push harder. Do you feel like you might go back and try again? I, th I think it would be interesting to see, see it again. I think, um, especially at the end of the test, concentrating perhaps on breathing, really ensuring the chest is in a good position. You've got lots of air coming in, would perhaps increase the results maybe. But yeah, I think it would be interesting to compare data down, down the line and see, see where I'm at. So there you go, it turns out that one of the fastest hill climbers in the country is in fact incredibly fast. <laughs> if you've got any questions for Andrew, leave those in the comments, he'll do his best to answer them. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell button so every time we upload a video, you get a notification. Bye. Come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on.